Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I hope you all have had a good day today. It's Thursday, it's, so we're playing Star Trek Online tonight, which also means, uh, and actually we will be sticking with Star Trek Online tonight because we actually got new content this week. Uh, the new story content's been added to, st to Stowe. So we're pretty thrilled about that and so forth here. It was another work day that was not a work day, and so I spent the majority of the afternoon just chilling out. I made a little progress on the uh, 250 tower achievement for Mortal Kombat 11. Of course, we'll be messing around with that tomorrow night, going through its story mode, and probably do some uh, online matches with that as well. Or I might just separate that into two separate streams. Uh, we picked up new two new games today. Two things arrived in the mail. Actually, a third thing is supposed to be arriving, but FedEx is a fucking joke when it comes to delivery in in my neighborhood. FedEx, I I fucking hate it whenever somebody sends something to me via FedEx because half the time, FedEx uh, either wants you to sign for it by not signing for it, they want to hand it to you directly that you are the person. They want to hand it to you in person, but don't make you sign for it, and and, and so it's. Uh, it's weird in uh, that regard. Uh, but we picked up uh, two games today, and I don't have them here on my desk. They're sitting on top of my that I want to get rid of. But we picked up Rocky Legends. This is the second Rocky uh, game, game based on the Rocky franchise that came out for the PS2. Everyone knows the other one, uh, the one that uh, was kind of glitchy. Both were published by Ubisoft, so again, fucking Ubisoft. This one is a bit unique in that you have a career mode of things leading up to the event scene in the Rocky movies for Balboa, uh, Creed, uh, Clubber Lang, and Ivan Drago, with the big sw twist being if you do the career mode as Ivan Drago, you get to beat Rocky. So you get to see the what if scenario in that case, the delusional scenario of 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 uh, of uh, Ivan Drago and what he thinks should have happened. So this would be uh, so in essence, it's a prequel to the Rocky movies. So which, in and of itself, is a cool concept. The other thing we picked up, and this was a brand new copy, factory sealed and everything, as you can see. Mortal Kombat Armageddon for the PS2. This one essentially is the MK Trilogy of the PS2 era of Mortal Kombat games. And by that I send every single character that was in uh, the previous games are included. So this has 64 characters in it. It had the, the custom Create Your Fatalities. It uh, had a deep story driven adventure in a new conquest mode. There's like uh, combos in midair with new aerial combat. Motor motor combat. With the, they had a kart racer in this. So it's like... Uh, so again, things that we will eventually stream and so forth. So we might get like a night or two out of different things. That's kind of like what I'm chasing down. Novelty stuff and so forth. And seeing what might be worth finishing down the road. So let me put these... Way there. Ah, oh, boy. So let's see. So we got new content online uh, with Star Trek Online tonight. We got two missions and a task force operation. Plus, we'll do the endeavors thing. Um, more likely, next week's stream and this week's stream of Star Trek Online are going to be virtually identical. But we're going to go through the new content this week with Zagreus, my main character, my longest tenured character. Um, basically, see it from the Federation side, and then we next week it will be from the uh, Klingon, the KDF side. So definitely, we'll have all that going for us. All those good things, all those positive things. Again, if you're a long time 
viewer of the channel, you know that a while back we got rid of all, all our other alternates. So we just focus on these two characters because on times when there, we don't have Star Trek Online, we essentially uh, can split the stream with another game, try out something else. Got my grapes. The time has come. Join us in the Goreth system. We are preparing to make our next move against the forces of the so-called Emperor and his dishonorable lackeys. Soon we will rally those who would end this destructive conflict and restore the Empire. The journey lies ahead. All that remains is to take the first step. Alrighty. A couple of these will be able to do. Three of these will be would be able to do. Uh, this one deal anti pro. We would have to switch over to Sora for this one because Sora is flying a ship that had that deals anti proton damage. So let's get. Yeah, I know how we do. Get everything set up the way I like to. It's like make sure we do the stowiness things of stow. Granted, I just throw down the best ships, the ships that are absolutely the best. Max out any possible rewards or go into it with an epic failure. So we're doing the Federation side first. And then we will and then next week we do the Klingon side. I don't have at the moment I don't have a Romulan character. If I did, it would. Um, problem is, there isn't really a a neutral uh, faction. A fact, that's what the rom because it's a sub faction. You align one way or another, so kind of takes you out, takes things out of context a bit as to what the pragmatic pragmatic Romulan view would be. Like hanging out in Club 47. Uh, duty officer assignments. Get everything logged in. By the way, last night's stream was interrupted by a thunderstorm knocking out the power at 10.15. Uh, thank goodness I have my phone that has the Xbox app and Discord on it. Allow me to let Iceman know what happened. So that was a say thing. And also we'll be checking something. Because again, I am waiting for something to arrive. A couple of shirts. Not my own shirts. This stuff uh, I order on sale that got shipped to me via FedEx.
So we might be able to max out this ship tonight, too. Yeah, definitely in a good spot there to do so. Make way to our destination. Move that over there. I avoided all spoilers regarding this. Granted, because the the big update was on Tuesday. But generally, whenever there is a big update, it's always buggy as hell. So, waiting till like the Thursday patch update generally will, will like alleviate any buggy issues and stuff. And apparently there was quite a few bugs. Uh, all right, there's both two. Warriors of the Empire. The well, Martok wants my attention first, but. Kind of wish I had more of a free camera mode, but... Oh, well. Martok, what do you have to say? Ah, uh, you have arrived. Yes, Good. I have arrived. Perhaps you can succeed where I have not. I appreciate the vote of confidence. What is the problem? The problem is that we cannot decide on our next move. Getting a spy, a warrior, a politician... And a general, to agree on anything, is a difficult challenge. When all those people are Klingons, it becomes a challenge worthy of Kalos himself. Seeing as I am not Kalos, what do you suggest I do? Speak with the others. See what they have in mind. Your fresh perspective may find a path forward, if such a thing exists. Very well. I will speak to the others and seek their counsel. I did pa? I have received word that systems controlled by House Korath are being attacked by forces loyal to Jumpok. They are being punished for their refusal to bend the knee. As are many, Jimpok seeks vengeance on any who dare defy his will. Our intel suggests that Akar's virus has been used to render their starships defenseless in several battles. I believe we can forge an alliance with them by providing the countermeasures to the virus. 
This will give their forces a chance to fight as warriors rather than die without honor in the cold darkness of space. Agreed. Your plan is worth consideration, Edipa. Lorel? The others believe we should curry favor with the strongest houses that stand against Jimtok. It is not a position I agree with. Why is that? The strong houses will resent any aid from us. They will take it as an offense, a question of their honor and their prowess as warriors. The smaller houses in need will be more pragmatic. They will accept our aid and become loyal allies when called upon. You make a good point. I believe we should prove our strength by helping those who need it most. In doing so, we will earn respect from the stronger houses rather than resent. Your wisdom is appreciated. My mind often returns to the disaster at Juvat. Though it was Akar who gave the order to fire on the planet, it happened on my ship. I want to remove the dishonor of that treacherous attack on the world of my mother's birth. How do you propose to do that? There are reports of new mycelial rifts opening in the Kuvat system. Corrupted Alachi have launched several attacks in retaliation for previous attacks of aggression against them. It seems another one of my sins has returned to haunt me. I would go to Kavat and aid their forces against the Alachi. Working to undo damage done will be uh, noticed and appreciated. You see, I think that's why we have yet to agree on a plan. Each of us has a bold, challenging goal in mind. Indeed. What was your idea, General? <laughs> I proposed that we go to Kronos and put a Batleth into Jim Pock's skull. That's a good plan! After issuing a formal challenge for the right to lead, of course. As glorious as that would was decided, the level of security surrounding the Emperor would be more than even we could handle. That and the matter of his dishonorable solution to the last fight we had over the Chancellor's seat. Ah! I see. Of the plans I have heard so far, I believe Lorel should be considered first. Indeed. I would hear your reasoning for this decision. House Chorus is one of the great houses. They could see our aid as an insult. That may be true, but what of Kuva? Do we abandon the people there to the Alachi? No, we help them once we have greater numbers to assist us. Hmm. Yes. A warrior who enters a battle unprepared is a warrior destined to fail. You are correct. With more forces at our side, we will be able to face the Alachi and aid the people of Kuva. Then we should decide upon a lesser house to assist. I do not disagree. And I believe I know the perfect candidate for this operation. House Kang. That's an interesting choice. After the death of the Har Master Kang, the house lost a great deal of influence. It has been in a slow but steady state of decline ever since. They have been seeking a way to restore glory to their house for some time now. Their most recent attempt ended poorly. Go on. When Jimbok declared himself emperor, House Kang was preparing to stage a coup. Unfortunately, spies discovered their plan and informed Jimbok. Imperial security captured most of the leadership of House Kang, and they are on their way to Rura Pente as we speak. Okay, bust him out of jail? I like it. Jimbok threw me into a prison box. He wanted me to suffer and die without honor. I will not let that happen to the warriors of House Kang. Sounds like you have an idea, General. I do. I think we should raid that system and liberate the House Kang warriors being held there. A bold plan, but one they would not be expecting. I will lead our ground forces on these raids. I knew Dahar Master Kang, and I know many of the current leaders of his house. They will be quicker to trust a familiar face. Very well. While we conduct the raids, I want the crews of the Corps and Rotarin to seek more allies and conduct reconnaissance. We must be prepared for future battles after this one. Now, 
Let us show the great houses our strength. Kapla! All right. To battle! Or rattle. They're holding General Kanal of House Kang on one of these prison stations, along with many of his loyal warriors. The stations are rigged with sensor jammers, so we'll have to find Kanal and his forces the hard way. I like it. General Martok, your thoughts as I... I'll be leading the boarding parties to search for Kanal, starting with Station Alpha. We'll beam over from your ship once you've disabled the station's defenses. Ah, and then things will get interesting. I do not expect the prison guards to give up their prize easily. Very well. All hands, battle stations. And it's willing and able. Party transport complete. We are engaging the enemy. Be sure to propose first. Prepare for combat. Kick ass, take names. This is Martok. We've completed our search of the station, but Canal was nowhere to be found. We did find some of his troops, though. Several of them told me that Canal was taken to Station Gamma for interrogation. Sounds like we have our next destination, General. Indeed. We have some new allies to join in the fight. Canal's warriors are eager to help us, and I'm inclined to let them. As am I. Good. We're ready for the next jailbreak. Come and get us. We're on our way, General. Stand by. Oh, my. They'll be waiting for us. On Station Gamma. Let's not disappoint them. A leader who thinks of those who serve, as well as the Empire. Warriors follow them proudly. Banzai! We took a we took a hit there. But we're all good. 
Beam over the boarding parties. This is Martok. Resistance is stronger than anticipated. We need reinforcements immediately. Understood, General. Will be more troops? I'm picking up incoming warp signatures. Enemy forces are inbound to our position. General, we have company. We'll be more forces over when we can. Here they come. Looks like a Nausicaan mercenary fleet. Oh. The Nausicaan, you say. Well, I have a surprise for them. Aha! <laughs> Takes forever to drop out of red alert. is secure, but Kanal is not here. In fact, no one from House Kang is here. Mostly Greg, bound for a dishonorable death on that ice ball down there. Did you find any clues as to Kanal's location? Possibly. I found an old friend of ours locked up over here. That annoying Ferengi who sold us out to Jim Park back on Nimbus 3. He says he has information. He'll only speak to you about it. Madrin, this ought to be interesting. Put him on screen. We meet again, Nemesis. After an unfortunate misunderstanding between myself and the Klingon, I find myself bound for the frozen depths of Rura Pente. They didn't even give me a trial. I can guess but why. What do you want this time, Madrin? Since we lack the time for a proper series of negotiations, I'll make it simple for you. Get me out of here! Alive! And I will tell you where he is. Leave me here to my cruel, frozen fate, and you'll never find him! I'll get you out of here and see to it that you receive a fair trial. Final offer. Where is General Canal, Madrin? One of the prisoners here put a ship in his back to Thor Point. He should be dead. But the word is Chancellor uh, Emperor Jemsok made it clear he was not to die a warrior's death. Unfortunately, the surgeon here is an incompetent drunk. Hmm. So they took Canal to Beta Station for medical treatment over there. Check the sick bay logs under snacks and libations, if you don't believe me. General Martok? Ah, it appears the little Capex is telling the truth. Pity. I was looking forward to dangling him by his ears from an airlock until he talked. <laughs> Very well. I'll bring him along General? and throw him by the ears into your brig. <laughs> Enough of this. We're ready to beam out when you are. Understood. Stand by. Security. Prepare a cell in the brig. Quickly. Canal has survived one attack. He may not survive another. Incoming! He's a threat now.
taking care of everything else first and then worry about the dreadnought. There it goes. Right, 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 right. That dreadnought's arrival worked in our favor. The guards were distracted by your glorious battle. Yes, our glorious our battle. The opportunity to stage a riot. By the time we got here, most of the fighting was over. There will be other battles, General. Indeed. Canal is still in one piece, and we're all ready to leave this place. I understood. Stand by for the transport. And let's get out of this place. If it's the last thing we ever do. Lady Jaula and Lorel, you honor us, Mother. House Kang will not forget your actions today. You're needed in the fight to restore the Empire, General. The honor was ours. Well said. Jempok sending my troops and I to die in prison is cause enough for us to rally to your banner. But no Klingon would turn their backs on a campaign to save our glorious empire. Give the call to arms, and House Kang will answer. Well, uh, give me a moment, folks, because I'm wait. I'm having to track something via FedEx again. FedEx freaking sucks. Come on, General. You will not have to wait long to heed such a call to glory. Stay ready. We'll, we will be in touch. We are receiving an incoming transmission from a dead pa. On screen. House Cora is under attack once more. This time in the Forca system. A number of their ships have been disabled by Arkham virus. He is sending a message. Stand against the Emperor and face a dishonorable death. Another mind game. But this is a game we can win. If we move quickly, we can reach Forcas before those vessels break down and explode. We can give them the countermeasures they need to survive. What's the call here? I will not stand by and do nothing when we have the means to save those warriors. Adetpa, we will meet you in the Forca system. Be prepared to render assistance to the Korath vessels. Helm, set a course for the Forca system. Maximum warp. Da dun dun da dun da dun From what I can tell, a car has infected these ships with a virus similar to the one we used to destroy this farm. It renders them defenseless and unable to move, while every critical system begins to break down and fail. Eventually, the systems regulating their antimatter containment fields will fail. I think you know what happened. Yes, a boom, a big boom. Can you stop the virus? Yes, I have started to modify the countermeasures we have used before we dealing with Akar and his tricks. They should be ready by the time we reach those vessels. Excellent. Remain vigilant as we approach those vessels. I have studied recent records of battle. Akar has used remotely controlled ships as bombs before. Good point. This could be another one of his traps. Everyone stay sharp. I will speed in recklessly. Enemy ships inbound. On an attack vector. Of course there would be on an attack vector.
do not care. My ship is ready for battle once more. That's a good look for her. There are other ships to assist, however. Yes, and Jumpbox loyalists may return as well. This time, their cowardly tricks will not work. I thought Admiral Defer to be an honorable warrior, but he is just as treacherous as his emperor. Bah! If he shows his face again, I will make it uglier for him. It is good to fight. <laughs> it's good to fight on your side. Damn. We were too late for most of them. Some escape pods were able to reach a safe distance before the end. One vessel remains. Do we have enough time to save them? At a pod, what's the status of the remaining Quora's ship? before their core systems reach a critical state. Acknowledge. Do not abandon the warriors in escape pods. You have time. Rescue them so they may fight on as warriors. Right now, you need to save the ones who need your help the most. Very well. Prepare to conduct rescue operations. Comms, notify sick pay. Some of those survivors may need medical attention. An enemy horde just dropped out of war. I lost my mouse cursor. There it is. All right. This guy looks like he drinks a lot. I need the forces of House Karat in this system. Your assistance is appreciated, but the battle isn't over yet. Explain. Admiral Dever will not give up so easily. When he said he would return, he meant it. And he will come with reinforcements. I will not allow him to take this system. What do you propose, Captain? Now that you have restored our ships, we will make our stand here. Captain. While I appreciate your courage, you must realize your forces are in no shape to engage Dever. Such a battle is unwise. You should withdraw. Dever is powerful, but he is not invincible. My ship may be damaged, but even a dreadnought can't survive the explosion from a warp core breach at point blank range. I am prepared to deliver that fatal blow. A suicide attack? It is his duty to defend this system by any means necessary. He wishes to lead his forces to victory as a warrior born. You could leave him to his fate. Without our ships, his fleet will probably lose the battle. With our aid, however, victory could be found along with a new ally. 
I understand. Your counsel is appreciated, Lorel, even if the lesson you teach is a bitter one. Captain Gatrak, we will remain in the system and fight by your side to the end. Right. Very well. Honor to you and your house, Matriarch. Today we will rid the stars of the Ver and his lackeys. Kapla! Red alert, all hands back to battle stations. Attention, enemy forces! Out of respect for your courage, I offer you the chance to quit this system and surrender it to the authority of Emperor Jempok. Remain! And I shall give you the honor of a warrior's death. Your offer is denied, Admiral. Derbyshire out. Woo! Okay, that, uh, that... That nearly backfired. In fact, it did backfire. What the hell? Explosive. I like it. Like, light them up. Things you gotta do to get cl good clips. We'll be singing songs about something, all right. And Gratak would have died in vain. The fight against Jimpok is not over. What is happening there? New rifts are opening, and the Elachi are sending fleets to attack from them. I failed the people of Kubat once. I will not fail them again. All right, what's the plan? Inform our allies and ask them to assemble at Kubat. We will meet at Martok's coordinates. Together, we can defeat the Elachi and save the people of Kubat. Very well. Helm, set a course for the Kubat system. More Lachi could arrive at any time. We need to move quickly. Martok is here. But where are our allies? Why did they not answer the call to arms? Have patience. The warriors of House Kang had to return to their vessels. House Korath's fleet was decimated by Akar's virus. They will need time to regroup and respond. Yes, but they will respond. For they are Klingon. They gave their word, and they will honor it. 
It falls to us to hold the line and keep the Alache at bay and until they arrive. And we will ah. hold the line. Red alert, all hands. Back to battle stations. Whale on the Alache. I know your face. You watch your Ula of House Mokai. Your craven weapon scarred Kubat and killed many Klingons. Why are you here? Do you come to atone for your crimes? Oh, uh, yes, she does. Because if they were lying, we would bombard you from orbit. You have my word of honor, warrior. Mine and the word of General Martok. I trust that, that will be sufficient. And that might work. I have heard that you walked among us once again, Lorel. It pleases me to see the rumors are true. If you and Martok are willing to fight at Ja'ula's side, I will do so as well. A wise choice, Captain. Now. You say you come to help with these rifts. There is one nearby. Show us that your word has value here, Jaula. Close the rift now. We'll do what we can, Captain. Close the rift by tripping over it. Two more rifts have opened nearby. Oh shit! Oh boy. Well, let's see if I can be sneaky here. At least the Alachi are not the pain in the ass Vodwar. We're just skirting along the rift here. Rock and roller, strut and stroller.
closing Rift 1. Now we close Rift 2. Reading a new rift opening, much larger than before. We must investigate it at once. This new rift is a lot larger and more powerful than any we have seen so far. Are we going to be able to close it? We need to run some scans and see what we what can be done. Scan the massive rift. Well, out with it. Can we close it or not? At a pod, do your do your readings match mine? I am reading two signals from the other side of the rift. One is using a heavily encrypted Alachi code. The other is using code unique to House of Cards. To what end? I believe someone has acquired some of the Mokai tech from our earlier incursions into the Mycelial realm and modified it. They are using it to create these rifts. It is your tech. Can you send a shutdown command? Turn it off? I have tried several times. The command systems are not recognizing the orders. What is our next move then? We will not be able to do much more from here. The solution to this problem lies within the Mycelial Network. What do you propose? You and I will lead a team into the Mycelial Network and attempt to contact our allies there. Perhaps the Jarsep or the liberated Alachi can assist us. Failing that, we will need to find a solution to the problem ourselves within the network. We'll, we'll find Fluffy. Agreed. Bringing a resolution to this conflict with the Alachi will be difficult, Jibuna. But I believe you find a way to do so. Go now. We will wait for you here and defend Kovac from any further attacks. Kafla! See you on the other side, Jaula. Flores, Latka, Tenek, Info to the transporter room. Yes, my android is named Info, as in Data. This is what it was like before, when my forces attacked. I was a fool, blind with rage. I am with progress. Then, the task to restore order fell upon your shoulders. Now, that responsibility belongs to me. You have allies here. Uh, do not forget that. I am reading several Alachi life signs nearby. They appear to be in an agitated state. I doubt they would be willing or able to help us. Get ready to fight. Understood. Ready, weapons. I am also picking up an Alachi communication relay on the tricord. Perhaps we can use it to send a message to our allies within the mycelial realm. One way to find out, let's try to reach the comm relay. Elachi! They were waiting to attack! Actually, I ran, I ran over to engage them. Wow, that rubber band, though. The st heavy stasis turret. No, I think we were pretty thorough in eliminating those Alachi life signs that were here. This way. Look there, those lights. Those are the filaments used for transport here. Yes, they connect different parts of the mycelial realm. They do. Yes. We should be able to use this to reach the next island and continue our search for the comms relay. Indeed, ready to go when you are. The communication relay lies ahead. If my readings are accurate, we can use it to trigger a signal. 
something that our allies among the liberated Alachi will notice. I'm sure we can make a noticeable modification. Like, make it explode. We'll press this button, and this button, and this button. Freeze them in place. Come on. We need to move deeper into the network. Deeper. No response. We need to boost the signal. Let us continue onward. We may find a stronger relay station deeper within the realm. On to the next bridge then. There. Do you see it? Another Ilati comms relay just ahead. Perhaps we can use it to boost our signal and what? make contact with the liberated Ilati. With the shop, move out and stay sharp. Yeah, at this point, I think we're just drawing attention to ourselves, to our enemies. Call it a hunch there. He's totally corrupted. Where? Jolan True, my friend. You are fortunate. I received your last transmission. Yes, we I did. See that you travel with the criminal, Jafula. This is most unusual. Please explain yourself. It's not unusual. We need to see what massive rift. And we need your help to do so. If you want Jula, after you help us, you can negotiate for her custody. <laughs> if you do not trust me, Latch, trust in your friend's judgment. I am here to help. We believe there are others using modified versions of my tech to create a massive rift. Our attempts to shut it down have not been successful. Perhaps, by working together, we can close the rift and put an end to the spread of corruption here. She speaks the truth, Tarsev. We are not your enemy. This would explain why our efforts to neutralize the corruption have failed. We did not have the information on your tech we needed. Ja'ula. If you give me your word of honor, I will assist you around once more. I give you my word of honor. Which and is worth about a buck fifty. The leader of my house. We will fight at your side and work together to make things right in this place. The tell you goes for me and my officers. Very well. We must move quickly. The corrupted ones have sent a fleet of considerable strength through it to attack your realm and are preparing more vessels to strike. What's our next move then? There is a device nearby that we can use to destabilize the rift. Come, I will show you the way. Lead the way. Oh, it's over here? We jump. Jump all the way over here. Just a step jump to the left. And a step to the right. It is a device that uses spore mist to alter the terrain and the environment. 
How can it help us? We can reconfigure this device to release a wave of energized Thor mist. The wave will cleanse the corruption from the mycelium as it flows throughout the realm. What about the rift? It will begin to destabilize, eventually reaching a point where it can be closed. Be advised, the corrupted ones are using the shaper to maintain the rift. They will defend it to the death. Very well, ready weapons and move out. We bring the thunder. We bring the noise. I'm a spore smasher. Da 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 da. Good. We can now use the Shaper to undo the madness of the Corrupted Ones. We? Yes. Myself and Jaula. She will deal with her tech, while I deal with that of the Corrupted Ones. Working together, we can enable the reconfiguration process and destabilize the rift. Okay. Remain vigilant, or the Corrupted Ones will return. And in force. You must defend us while we reconfigure the Shaper. Work quickly, we need to end the siege on Kavat. Bring the noise, attack on all fronts, all sides. Alright, we nearly got it done. It's nearly finished. Quickly, use the other console to unlock the next set of modifications. Really? Like this kind of keep blasting, man. This is a three stage fight, isn't it? Figures. Let's see how he likes. Well, that was strange.
but seriously, you shooting me behind? On what side of the machine? Oh. Well, that guy got knocked out. It's worked. The wave is cleansing the realm of corruption, and the rift is beginning to destabilize. Excellent. What now? I will return with you to your realm. The liberated Alachi wish to bring an end to such incursions to our realm, and I believe I can help you with that task. You will be welcome to join us in the effort, Tarsif. Very well. Let us return to your ship now. The window for safe transport back to your realm is closing soon. Understood. Transport is standing by. We'll beam you back to the ship on your order. The other side of this hole! Nefka has her own tr special transporter beam because she's Romulan. Come on. I see your efforts were successful. Adetpa tells me we will be able to close the rift soon. Once the rift is stabilized to a critical level... Very well. Until that time comes, we must defend Kuvat and face the Alachi in battle. Any signs of our allies? We have detected several Klingon vessels on long-range sensors. They are approaching at high warp, but we do not know if they are friends or foes. Understood all hands, battle stations. We will hold the line until we can close the rift. Quick, ca summon Captain Kirahi. Light them up, bitches! I make you wonder is there a timer on this? Like all heads, fire at will. Even more Lachi are coming through.
All right. We're being hailed. The has destabilized to a point where it can be closed from this side. That is good news. I recommend haste. The corrupted ones have a large fleet moving to exit the rift as we speak. Acknowledge. Moving to closed rift now. Watch out! An LFG fleet made it out before the rift closed. Oh boy! <laughs> Came in right on top of me. Is here. What about House Koloff? in the pirates led by Peter Pan take out the freaking dreadnought there we go and the rest will be easy pickings or slim pickings This little ship all by itself holding up story progression. Victory is ours. The Alachi have been driven from the system, and Kubata is secure once more. News of this was spread through the Empire like wildfire. Tommy Rich? Someone said something about getting fired up. Yes. Friends and foes alike. After today, more allies will join forces with us, along with House Kang and House Korra. We will need them at our sides when we face Jim Pak's forces. I have received word from my contacts among the Orions at the Gorn. They stand ready to join us when the time comes. Good to hear. The three Alachi will join the fight as well. We desire an end to this conflict and to the usage of the mycelial weapon. Understandable. Tarsen, I would speak with you later about a mycelial matter. For now, however, I believe we all have to prepare for the last campaign. Soon, the time will come to face Jempak and his forces in battle. Indeed, it appears all roads lead to Quonos. We must be ready. All decks have reported in. We're standing by and ready to depart the system on your command. All right, and the ship has prestiged up. Word of our deeds is spreading throughout the Empire. More allies stand ready to fight at our side, but we cannot rest easy. The mad emperor will retaliate with all the forces he can muster. While it is said that revenge is a dish that is best served cold, I prefer I hot with a chocolate sauce. In his madness, he will be unpredictable. 
In his desperation, he may commit unthinkable acts to avenge his losses. I feel the Basically, Jim Pock is Donald Trump. Months, but I know from experience that those days can be terrible to face. We can only follow the example of Kalish and fight with honor. A day long remembered. Jimpok is trapped on Kronosh, guarded by the few warriors loyal to his cause. Our recent victories have weakened his position and brought many allies to our banner. There will not be a better time to strike. As Kalish once defeated the forces of the tyrant Molor, so shall we put an end to the reign of Jimpok. Join us in the Boreth system as we prepare for glorious and honorable battle. But before we do, we are go we are actually going to switch ships. The Derbyshire has uh, has maxed out. What ship we will? Do I do? Oh, that's a phaser way. And what is that? That's a disruptor. Oh, that's a plasma beam. So the temporal escort has definitely, well, certainly served us well. But, the cl but we need switching out one ship for another, you know. Now in space dock control area, maneuvering thrusters only. Hmm. And taking a look. Hold up. The Renaissance still has some to go. All right. 
Alrighty. The Radical Dreamer. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. There we go. Customize the ship.
Yeah, they didn't really think a lot of these older bridges through. So we break out the Renaissance. Check and see what the uh, status of that seems about right. Move that over a bit. Because we used the Renaissance before for a while. I just want to double check. Uh, engineering and Intelligence. Uh, that gives a one of two definitely takes that slot there Who can we throw? There it goes. Anything that it gives us I go Titan Drift. Yeah, that will. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Had to uh, figure it out how I would lay the ship out. Back to the Boris system. Matter of fact, as we're traveling, I got. Let me pop upstairs real quick. I shall return. <laughs>
you believe we're still in transit? Yes, and I am waiting for a... Delivery and is saying now for tomorrow. It was out for delivery today, not delivers. It's like delivery tomorrow. Bye. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, so we got all sorts of people here. Captain Crar, Captain Yalara, who is proper, who is definitely dressed for the occasion, folks. That's an engineer. Helm, helm. Ula is the Serb. Captain Lakaha La Laksha. Captain Kagrin. That's a science. That, that that's uh, Enten Science. Captain Bernier, Martok, and General Canal. So there you go. All right. So speak with Martok first. Okay. And then he said. Either move, or I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Ah! A Ferengi Starfleet cadet telling three Klingon warriors to move. That boy had more courage than ten of these nook surrounding Gimpa. Remember this. Courage comes in all sizes and shapes. Nice reference to Nog there. Indeed. The Harmaster Kang knew this as well. When I was a child, he told me of his glorious adventures. He went into battle with brave and honorable warriors from many worlds. Humans, Trill, even Vulcans. I do not care what planets they come from. But they are here to knock Jempa from his throne. I like her attitude. If we are victorious, I will drink with them and sing great songs of glory. And should we die, I will see them in Stovacor, and we will take our place among the honored dead. Kapla! Certainly, certainly see, gone through a few places as we've been. You know, it would be nice to go to Stovacor, because we've been, we've been to the other place a couple of times. And a pa is next, okay? There is a human sin. Necessity is the mother of invention. After all I have experienced in this world, I have come to realize the profound wisdom in nature. Necessity drove me to create defenses against the tricks of Akar. It has driven us to work with the Alachi on defenses against a weapon. True. It also led to the means to close mycelial rifts and restore the sanity of corrupted Elachi to turn foes into friends. Indeed, we gain the staunch allies in the liberated Elachi. Hmm. I suppose necessity drove us to join the fight against Jempok. Although the chance to make a tidy profit was also a motivating factor. I like her too, not because she's barely anything. Ba barely wearing anything. About the necessity of staying loyal to Jempak. Too bad. They're about to learn they're backing the wrong side. A hard lesson, but one we have to teach. As we stand ready to attack Jimpok, I am reminded of another adversary, Cole of House Cole. Like Jimpok, he craved personal power to be the single ruler of the Empire. For a time, it seemed that he would succeed, but in the end, his arrogance led to his undoing. Such will be the fate of Jimpok today. Yes, his pursuit of power will not end well. I regret following the 
members of such a dishonorable league. As well you should, jerk. There are others who stand ready to take his place and serve the Empire well. The future holds no place for Jim Talk and those like him. The only place for them is Gressor. You may be right. I doubt he will seek an honorable end to this conflict. Jim Talk ordered the invasion of Gorn space and forced our king to bend the knee. Since then, we have been little more than puppets of the Empire. And the Jemplar. Today, we will fight for the Empire, not as pawns, but as equals. Today, the puppets will cut the strings. Agreed, an alliance of equals is far more preferable. That's right, we already forgot that the Gorn basically were uh, stomped on by the Klingon Empire. Alright, uh, discuss the plan. Warriors from many worlds, you stand ready to fight and restore the Empire. It is my honor to go into battle with you. Know this. Today, the forces of Jim Park will know defeat. You know what you must do. Face your enemy. Show them your blade. Fight well. In the name of Chaos and for the glory of the Empire. Right on. Remember what you fight for today. All of you, no matter what world you call home, know what it means to be Klingon. If that is in your heart and the enemy takes your life, today will be a good day to die. Win or lose, the Klingon Empire will not soon forget this day, for we will not go quietly into that good night. We will not surrender without a fight. We will go on, and we will stomp Jim Park six ways from Sunday into the ground. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Well said. All hands, report to your stations. We depart for Chrono soon. Dismissed. Before you return to your ship, I would speak to you. Very well, what's on your mind? A lot is riding on the Alachi and their modifications to this vessel. Do they have your confidence, your trust? They do. Tarsif and his people will not fail us. Let us hope so. There is one other matter, a personal request. I am listening. You were at my side in Grethel. You know of the deal I made to secure Lorel's freedom. I have asked those I trust to fulfill my oath should I fall in battle. I count you among their number. If I die before ending Akar and Jempak, will you do what must be done to send them both to Grethel? I will do what I can, should that come to pass. Very well. By your hand or mine, may Akar and Jempak stand before Feklar on this day. Fight well, Matriarch. The fleet is in position. Beam back to your ship when you are ready to proceed. Outside the range of enemy sensors. When the word is given, we'll go to maximum warp and travel to the assigned coordinates. Move your vessel into position when you are ready. Understood, General. Renaissance out. I'm going to be at the. the time draws near. If you are prepared for battle, I will give the order to begin the invasion of Kronos. Let's go! For, honor, for glory! For the Empire! All ships have reported in. We are holding position outside the Praxis debris field. We are moving into defensive positions, as expected. This is the Renaissance, ready when you are. The last time I saw Praxis, it was the first night of a full moon. Like the Empire, I thought it would last forever. And yet now, the Empire is shattered. Like the moon above our homeworld. Unlike Praxis, the Empire can be restored. Indeed. It 
is our duty, and we will not fail. Attention all hands. The time has come. Begin the assault. For the Empire! Red alert, all hands to battle stations. Yes, this is more like it. Helm, get us into knife fighting range. Come on, baby. Shit, with shields are buckling. Shut up, Jim Park. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Incoming. I told you not to fire at Ola. Was she destroyed? I, I cannot tell. Too much interference on sensors. Oh, here come the Alachi. Whoa, what the? The hell is that? It worked. Tarsev's device worked. Once more onto the breach. Dear friends. 
Oh, damn. Awesome. Like the big push. Like there's one more ship left. Slaughter it. think they'll surrender? <laughs> like, I don't think the odds are good at here. There will be no victory for you today, traitors. If I cannot have Kronos, no one will. I will detonate the very weapon that Lorel used to become Chancellor. The home world will become the grave of the Klingon Empire. Test me in your peril. What weaponry is he talking about? It is called a Hydro a terrorist placed it in the planet's core during the war with the Federation. Some allies acquired the detonator and gave it to me. It allowed me to give the High Council a choice. Accept my leadership, end the war, or face the destruction of Kronos. And now Jim Pak is offering us a similar choice. He has been to the Great Hall and raised defensive shields. He means to dig in, wait for reinforcements and force us to quit the field. If we push too hard, call his bluff. We need options and fast. I have known Jim Park longer than any of you. I have faced him in battle. I know his heart. Go to him and issue a formal challenge. His pride, his arrogance will not allow him to refuse you. A duel to the death for the right to lead. Sometimes the old ways are best. Face the Patan and bury your blade in his heart. It may be the only way. Whatever you plan to do, I recommend haste. The IKS Targ is approaching with a fleet at high warp. A car. Very well. A dead path. I want you and Cochran to lead our forces here against a car and his fleet. I will lead a team to first city and seek to challenge Jim Park there. As former chancellors, I would like Laurel and Martok at my side to bear witness to our honorable victory. Because we need to actually see this, I'm going with you. If that is your wish, I will not deny you. We will transport as close as we can to the Great Hall and begin the final assault from there. 
Besides, we got a Klingon on our uh, on our crew, so it's like it makes sense for him to go along. Remind me to have a word with Adet Khan if we survive. This is not an ideal place to begin our attack. That smell, worse than Petlaw's backside. It is certainly unique. Like we just see if we can get a good shot here. Da -da. Under the circumstances, this was the closest she could get us to the great hall. Plug your nose and forge off. <laughs> what is the best route from here? I know a path. That leads to the proving ground. From there, we should be able to fight our way to the Great Hall. Good. Lead the way, General. Listen, do you hear? The sounds of battle and bloodthirsty tards. Keep your weapons handy. The we enemy is nearby. Weapons ready? That's me without. Around here. Panda! 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 Hey, Panda Sweet. How's it going? We may have more allies here than you think. How are you today? How are the pandas doing? As things happen there quickly. Oh, it's going stress for me. Kids are good. Nice to hear. Sorry that you think of stress, but you know, gotta hear things are going good. Look, dissension in the ranks. Now is the time to strike. Take the loyalists down while they are distracted. Attack them from behind. General Martok, who do you fight for? We are warriors of House Kang, General. We fight to restore the Empire. Oh, good. We got allies. All right, this way. It's a brawl. There's so much action happening here. having a bad day. This is the second time she got knocked out. The Lady Jaula of House Mokai. Guy's looking a bit green, wouldn't you say? Please, allow me to offer you my personal gratitude. Oh, wait, uh... Recently, the house we were living in was sold. I thought we were going to be in the clear of the new owners kicking us out to Rimano. We were wrong. But they told us they weren't going to do that. They gave us three dinners to move out, according to them. The house needs to be rewilded, so we need to be out by the 24th. Ouch. So to pick up and scramble to find a new place. Yeah.
So hopefully you'll be able to find a nice comfy place before then that the move and everything goes smoothly for your panda. Have some. It's like only 30 days. It's like, come on, at least wait till they like find an alternate place before and then do the final countdown. But no, like scramble this. Like jerks. They're jerks. You tell them I said they were jerks. After you. After you settled into your new place, then you tell them. Don't want to cause any problems beforehand. Gratitude? For what? I do not know you, Orion. What are you talking about? I'm wondering about that myself. His name is Usan Beck, and he is a notorious pirate. I suspect he's thanking you for all the good business this war has provided him. He made the mistake of attacking some freighters carrying goods from my house. A mistake he will never make again, if he is wise. I don't think he's wise. <laughs> Consider that lesson well learned, General. I have far better uses for my ships than to serve as target practice for the warriors of House Martok. Reminisce later, we've got the fence screens to cut through. That's a tall order, friend. There isn't much around here that can get past those ships. Fortunately for you, I happen to have something that will. For the right price, of course. We're listening. Earlier, you mentioned your gratitude. Provide us with the means to bypass the shielding, and we shall express our gratitude to you in return. Unless you prefer to deal with the Emperor. Hmm. Local politicians are trying to... Here's the thing. I'm an independent. Why the hell are... And the Democratic uh, and Republican primaries for local offices here in New Jersey are coming up. As an independent, I do not take part in the primaries. <laughs> it's like, so why are they trying to get my attention? This is like, no. No, 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 no. I have seen what the Emperor does to Orions, my lady. We have a deal. Not far from here, some associates of mine are guarding a shipment of Tetrion explosives. They will knock that shielding down quite nicely. Though there is a small issue to be dealt with, I'm afraid. We have to, uh, we are having to take what we can get so that we actually have a place to go. No time to shop. We are having to pray to the place we have, uh, that we have done the app for. is decent. Hopefully all the paper will go through fine and with no hang-ups. We should be able to start moving in on the 11th. So it's just for us. I hate moving. Yeah, I hear you. I haven't had to move. Uh, last time I had to move... It was done over a gradual process. Was moving because this was originally my dad's house, and so I was living with my mom in an apartment. I moved back into this place in December of '06, and then my mom and brother moved in like a couple months later. So it was kind of like a gradual process of moving, getting everything moved in step by step. Here, eleven years, I've been back here again since the end of '06. So. 15, 15 years, 15, 16 years, give or take. And this is not came on back before here. Cause let's see, my dad got the house in 94. I moved in like 93, 94. I came in at 96 to 01. So it's like, so about the 20 years of my life has been, has been in this house, so. I know. So, hoping, hoping for the best, Panda. Hoping for the best and everything. Now, what kind of issue? My associates recently informed me that their position was in danger of being compromised by Imperial security. Unless you want those Tetrion lovelies in the hands of the Emperor, I'd suggest lending my people a hand. You'll find them at the following coordinates. 
Very well. Ready weapons and move out. I knew Usan Beck to be bold. But running a smuggling operation in the first city? I am not sure if he is bold or insane. He's both. I suspect a pirate operating in the Empire would need to be both. See, what Star Trek Online lacks an actual great, you know, multiplayer MMO content, it makes up for with, with the episodes. Now, come on, this is just epic, grand scale action. Ouch! Lower your weapons. Usan Vex sent us. That Gore, Usan Vex enforcer. Talk to him about the explosives. The vast fold of help was on the way. Nice to see he wasn't lying. The Imperium security has arrested my crew pinned down inside. If you're here to help, you need to get in there. We'll do what we can. We need those Tetrion charges. We can talk about such things after we save my crew. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. What's your aim? Would you want to blow up your pride, would you? Yeah, we might. More action! Up. Well, that was a mistake. You know what? We should. We're, we're sticking to the high ground. Now we go back to the low ground. Ask the corn to check the cargo manifest. There may not be enough here to get the job done. All right, where is he? Where is he? He's here. According to the cargo manifest, all of the Tetrion charges are in here. Is it a problem? There may not be enough for what we need to do. We need to knock down the shielding around the Great Hall. I see. You'll be prohibited at the weak point. Call me up on a surge to overload the primary emitters and the backup grid. Yes, we do. Makes sense. Any recommendations? That's where we'll hit it. Very well. Secure the charges and prepare for battle. We must not fail now. Let's get what we need and move the out. Battle is won. Gather the Tetrion charges while you can. Vertebra oh, you already got it, Panda? Nice. I started a process on it late last night. But more than likely I would. I had the misfortune of, well, the power outage and everything and making sure everything was working. So didn't put too much work into it. Oh, you just logged on. Oh. 
Yeah, all you gotta do is play at least thirty matches, and you get two and two points for every win. So. We've got what we came for. Let's go. You know, there seem to have been more charges here that we could have taken. I myself have been kind of semi busy trying to get things done in Mortal Kombat 11 and to a lesser extent Power Rangers Battle for the Grid because they've added Ken, uh, excuse me, Ryu and Chun Li to that game. And they actually, you actually have to play them as you would a normal Street Fighter type game. So it's like that should be a lot of fun. I've done put in. Those are the, hey, but you, you should already get, uh, you should already have a point because of it, Panda. Check and see. Over there, by that field. Place the charges there. Quickly, set the Tetri on charges. Charges in place. Now, get to a safe distance and detonate them. Run away! Charge in. Reinforcements are beaming in. Prepare for battle. Uh. The disciples of Nut. Watch out for their nanopulse weapons. Like the wind, I do not respect a fool. And there are many of them asking to dance on my blade. Good. It's like we're blasting them. There we go. No point. Oh, so it has to play the full match then. Bartok is down. <laughs> the Emperor awaits you in the Great Hall. Face him. If you have the spine for it. Go. Do what must be done. Need to return to the Rotaran. Join the fight there. From one ex Chancellor to another. Use it well. Come, we have business within the Great Hall. Funny, that's not the weapon I'm actually holding, but it is being held the right way. Lafka is just having a really, really bad day. Okay, no, wrong way. This way. Do you miss this place, mother? This is as close as you'll get to being Chancellor again, I'm afraid. You are blocking my path, Lucky. Make way! Arrogant, misbegotten clone, Janchu! Oh. Uh, okay. Your path ends here. 
Well, this is gonna be interesting. You will not save her. Jo'ula will die on the Emperor's blade. Those force fields are blocking our way. Destroy the emitters in the wall to bring them down. So many fools, all eager to fight in a burning house. <laughs> what, are there more? Oh, there, there are. But you will go no further. These emitters have shields. Disable them with your tricord, then destroy the emitters. Disabling them. I'm being shot in the back, man. Come on now. Time is your true enemy. I have plenty of it, but your Ula has but a few strengths remaining. Okay, where the hell is Flores is knocked out at? This is where you fail. You will never get past me. You should have stayed in your own side, barbarian. There is no place for you in my empire. The only place for you is Gretel. You will be there soon enough. Our car. Initiate transport immediately. Jerk ran away. We need to block the car's personal transport. Have you tried shooting him before he you? Yes, we did try that. Thank you very much, you game. Know he runs at the first sign of peril. Is the brave ones who die. Oh. It's a multi stage fight. Wonderful. No. Not this time. Quick! Scan his transporter signature. Transport. Quick, scan his transporter signature. Then we got it. Two stands down, one more, and his running days are over. You still live? Time to do something about it. I think we got we did. Got him. Locked him out of his own transport. Send him screaming to Grapper. There is still fight in you. Still your blood
Come on, dude, bring him down. What is this? What have you done? Give my regards to Whew. He dead. And I think he dead too. You cannot win. I will not allow it. He has an iPhone. You shall never rule. Talk pa. Talk Dude. Hand it to him. I think he might be wrong about that. I believe this belongs to you. It is not my destiny. It belongs in your hand. As Chancellor. Rech Klingon Wuchtach Judge! They're saying SOS? Save our soul, she's in charge again! <laughs> Am I find Tannic and where? Oh, there he is. Excuse me, pardon me. Hold up. Hold up. Yes, tea bag. Hold up. Over here too. <laughs> Yo, look at that. His hand is still on the ground too. <laughs> it's like... The hand is still there. That's a nice little touch. The sword of Kalesh. In my time, most believe it was a thing of legend, of myth. I will not dishonor this sacred legend. Its legacy will not be tarnished by my hand. I swear it. Of that, I have no doubt, Chancellor. May it be a reminder in the days to come, as we rebuild what was broken and replace what was lost. A reminder of all that is great within the Empire. Indeed. Reforging the Empire will be a challenge, but one worthy of Kalesh and all who dwell with him in Stogokor. Fortunately, we are Klingon. We live for such a challenge. Kaplach! Two weeks have passed since the fall of Jimfo. Our wounds heal. The honored dead have joined their ancestors in Stovoko. Order has returned to the Empire. Rebuilding what was broken or lost has begun. There is more to be done. 
But first, we will celebrate our hard-fought victory. Party! Klingon style! But so, it's always nice, and but it's a bit concerning whenever they do like an epilogue type thing, so you know some shit is gonna happen. So we got five people to speak to. We'll speak over here first to Captain Cogwin. I agree. The alliance must not turn their back on the Klingons. We cannot afford another gym. The tragedy of Kithomer, or worse, could happen again. Especially if such a tyrant turned their eyes on the Federation or the Republic. Even the Dominion could be threatened by such a move. I trust the Alliance leaders to find wisdom on this matter. They cannot afford not so. Not to. There are more like me among the liberated Alachi. Some prefer life within the mycelial network, but others would like to return to their former lives when the time is right. Are you one of them, Tarsev? Not at this time. The Alliance has asked me to represent the liberated Lachi. As an ambassador, I will be able to forge a new future for my people and to protect the sanctity of the mycelial network. Perhaps in the future, I will return to a life among the Romulan people. But for now, my place is with the Alachi. Congratulations, I know you would do what's right for them. This Dominion in. Uh, Dignitary, it's not selectable. We got Admiral Kin here, Quinn here, a Heavy Ranger, a Matrian. Hey, Worf is here, and Captain Corrin. But basically, all the cl major Klingons I basically got names over the course of the past. A bunch of bunch of name Klingons all hanging out in a circle. I, for one, do not recommend running from a wave of mycelial destruction, no matter what age you are. It is not a pleasant experience. I can assure you. Some believe you have more lives than a gri Grisnar cat general. Indeed. Grethar holds a number of fools who thought they would be the end of me. There are two in particular I'm glad to be rid of on this day. Jim Park and Akar? Yes, though I am pleased that their deaths led to Gauron's release from Grethar. Now he resides with Kalos in Stobakor. And I have no doubt Feklar is glad to be rid of him. <laughs> that wild-eyed schemer was probably well on his way to taking charge of the place when he was released. I suspect you'll keep Kalos on his toes from now on. Who's over here? Adet Pa with... Wilkins... Uh, Captain Voris we actually met in a side mission as well as uh, Kenya Captain Yarla we met in this mission and so it's that kind of coolness there when I was living a hermit's life on the Mist Tree I thought I had seen all of that civil war within the empire the return of Lorel even a battle with giant cybernetic reptiles. Not to mention all the uh, permutations of Akar's virus. Yes, but in the end, he was too clever for his own good. Dealing with his tricks gave me insight on his computer security. With that knowledge, I was able to trap him on Chromos, where he was dealt with once and for all. <laughs> well done, then. I only did what was necessary. Much has changed since my first time as Chancellor, and much has remained the same. I am already besieged with requests and calls for favor from many houses, great and small. Fortunately, 
I shall have the assistance of the latest Torchbearer as we move forward and restore the Empire. Torchbearer, that's quite an honor there, Ja'ula. Indeed. As other Torchbearers before me, it will be my role to act as an advisor to the Chancellor. And, if necessary, to get my hands dirty where she cannot. It is my intention to serve her and the Empire to the best of my ability. In my time here, we have been adversaries and allies. It has been a strange journey for us both. Without you, the Empire would have been lost. For your role in the conflict, you have my respect and my thanks. Thank you. Keep walking the path of honor, Ja'ula. This is like my standard away team just hanging out here. And they're and they are floating above the floor. <laughs> just uh look, look, look. Uh, wow, it's like great screenshot ruined. The event has concluded. You may beam back to your ship at your leisure. Once more, I stand for the Empire as its Chancellor. It is a singular honor, and I will lead by example in the days to come. There is much to be done, but we will meet every challenge and emerge victorious. For we are Klingon! Klingon Mach Tach Judge! You have been an honorable ally, and your name will be remembered in song and tales forevermore. Glory to you and your house. Yes. Kabla! Glory to this house. All right. So we're not going to do the uh, the KDF side of it because I'm when chances are there's going to be like subtle dialogue differences. We're going to do that next week. And, but we're not going to switch games because there's still another thing. Uh, that needs to be done. And not to mention we're going to do some work on the uh, endeavors this week. At least knock out a couple of them. But let's get this squared away. Da da da. Of course, tomorrow night we are will be going back to Mortal Kombat 11 for dealing with its expanded contact, doing the aftermath story, which, and depending on how long that takes, we may actually start the process of doing some online matches with that. So, but we still we still got more to do here tonight.
Da, 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 da. Hold up, let me check something real quick here. Overwatch League tells me my order should be arriving, but uh, let me just do it. It was on a FedEx vehicle, but they didn't come close to Camden. Hey, Ice Man, I don't know what you're saying, lady, but you're saying it in an aggressive tone, which we don't stand for. <laughs> uh, basically, she was saying that we are Klingon, and we will, ba we will kick ass and take names regardless of what stands in our way. Nice man, hopefully you're having yourself a good day today. Uh events. Uh what do you give for doing the buyout on this and how much? Alright, you get a bunch of weapons. Basically you get a ground set. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Doing okay? I'm doing alright, sir. Still annoyed at the power. See, that thunderstorm last night. As a matter of fact, let's uh, cut over to uh, here. That thunderstorm that KO'd the power last night, that was supposed to end at about 10 o'clock. So it was like, we had no issues at all, because that storm started at like 5, it was supposed to blow, blow through. Then it just like hung around for a couple of hours. Then it just hung around and had like the big thunder crack and everything. Everything went down. Thankfully, I had my phone with the Xbox app and everything to like let you know what happened and so forth. I got power back around like... Around like 11:30 ish or so, and then took my time double checking every stuff, everything. But it was a, it it was kind of real weird with and how it happened. Then again, I've been lucky uh, in terms of thunderstorms. I haven't really had issues with thunderstorms. Uh, like strong winds has been like the biggest concern I've had. But we just finished both of the new story missions. We did it on the Federation side. So it's like I can get two weeks of Star Trek only streams out of this event at the very least. So that's what. Yeah, we were at short because we were, and we were off on a good, we were off to a good pace too because we would have cleared out that entire, um, uh, the entire Kips Bay section and probably got starting on the next section because we had there is like a there's a Benitez mission in that area like everything was everything was going smoothly with it like like it was it was an area where like achievements were like starting to pop and everything so so, so that so that was rather disappointing last night but uh could have been it could have been worse <laughs> obviously it's like hell last time there was like a storm that did something that knocked out power or there was like power flickering and stuff like that going back in february we, we lost i lost a computer at that point in time but thankfully i have precautions in place to prevent that from happening again So, we got two new things here. 
that's been added to the game. Remain Klingon and a patrol. We're gonna do the patrol first and then the task force operation because the patrol we can do solo. Oh, wait. Okay, I see what this is. Let's see. Okay, so these are basically variations of what we just covered. Crash over Koran, engaging local operations to Mokai raiders that have been attacking other ships in the region. Wait, what? No, these are... Oh, I see. Okay. They they basically took the first mission uh, that we did tonight. Warriors of the Empire and sp and split it up into three mini things. And, and they got combined with other stuff. Okay. That's not fun. We technically we already did those battles. So we'll go ahead and do this. The battle between Jirul and Jibok rages on the surface of Pronos. The crews on both sides were left to continue the battles in orbit. This is their story. And we are waiting for it to load. Space battles in space. While our ground forces engage Chopok and his troops, we must secure the space of Kronos. Our biggest concerns lie with two entities, the Kristak and the Sark. Each ship has modifications that could turn the tide of the battle against us. I see. This should be interesting. Do you have any questions? No, we're ready to engage the enemy. Not enough time to get the briefing and everything. My ship can cloak. It's totally invisible. You can't spot it. Like the stealth systems are like Tola. your pathetic rebellion ends here. The matriarch is telling your master on Chrono, but we then I will make sure she has no ship to run. And no witness for Amos here on. Well, I overshot the battle. Beagle! Right, 
Oh, this is the companion to to the mission. It's like the space battle. I happened aboard the ship while everything was happening. Okay, I get it now. Okay. No good. The car fired before you get to the position. Get closer at that time. All right, this is chaotic, but it's a battle. Like I'm guessing it's probably Hit the start with the virus. Stay within four kilometers from the start. Your ship will help route the virus. This is probably best to pick one ship to focus on.
This is, is a lot of back and forth here. Come on, it's like trying to keep uh Where is the repair ship? Where is it? Like so much is happening. Come on. I thank goodness for auto fire because it's like. So much shit's happening, it's like trying to keep uh, track of everything is just nuts. It's like push and pull it, push and pull it. And that should blow it up. So ends the Christian. Soon, victory will be ours. Gabla! Cease all hostility. The reign of the along with the war. This is the mother of the empire. You have fought with honor. 
rejoin the Empire and go vengeance. There's an escaping bird of prey. Kill it! How do we do? There's no dreadnoughts with the target of weapons. Alright, so that was a thing. It was a scramble of sorts. And that was a thing. All right, so we knocked out all the new content, because uh, the patrols are basically taking one mission into it. As a conclusion to the, unlike the last time there was like a major endpoint in Star Trek Online, which would have been, all right, Ice Man, it says I enjoy the game. Game is tied with less than 10 and a chance to advance. Iceman will be busy cursing at his television. Uh, I was about to say, uh, as a conclusion to the uh, to the ongoing narrative, because last time there was a major story endpoint in Star Trek Online, was basically the end of the uh The Undine story stuff, so I can actually I can pull it up this way here. When it would have been surface tension was like the last end point, cause it, it but you got like a to be continued, and that led into the Delta Quadrant stuff. The Iconian War had a nice. The Iconian War technically was the end point in its own way. Because. No, because Solone led into Delta, which led into the Iconian War. Midnight was the major endpoint. That was the major endpoint where there was an actual conclusion and nothing fed into the other stuff. Uh, going forward. Yesterday's war... And... One could argue yesterday's war, the future's proof is kind of like a mini thing, but that carried over from yesterday's war, from the Iconian stuff. That's basically fed, that all fed into it. New Frontiers was again like, well, how much a New Frontier? New Frontiers led into the Gamma Quadrant. So that was kind of like his own story of. But this story arc here, the, the, everything that we've covered, the missions that we covered tonight, which we'll replay next week, for our next week's Star Trek Online stream as part, just to see things from the Klingon, uh, from the KD, Klingon Defense Force side perspective. It's basically been a three, three story arcs here. Age of Discovery, Jaula's Discovery. And uh, the Klingon Civil War. And, but the, and these go back to... When was these added? Accolade... No. Logs. Captain's Logs. Sequence is 2018. So 2018, 2019... 2020, so about, uh, I would say r roughly three years to go through that story arc with the with the gap in between missions and everything, and, and actual episodes. Oh wait, they actually separated these. Alright. 
Uh, complete the Omega Force operative and either Onagar. Forget what's involved with that. Hmm. Again, wish these had a count on stuff like that. Anyway, overall, it's been a nice long story arc. If you launched a Discovery era captain and everything, it basically it's a complete narrative there, kind of like in its own way, an incomplete story for almost everyone else. We need to head. The battle zones. Either which way, we're going to knock out a couple of endeavors, which kind of like been what we've been you doing on Star Trek Online as of uh, the last several weeks. And like I said, we're going to get at least another stream out of the. I mean, I could go ahead and do those missions now, but I, I want to spread that out because with two characters, I can basically make the event stuff seem a little bit more special. Do, 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 do. Reputation. Oh, trade in marks. How many marks do I have? A hey, shit ton. Da, 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 da. Go to the Alpha Quadrant. I got another CD binder coming in the mail tomorrow with a photo as well as the photo album. It's like I'm hoping that binder yeah, I can at least if I can knock eliminate one printer print paper box full uh, carton full of CDs that will be awesome. That is like it's a gradual process. Granted, at, the one benefit is I end up making myself some my my own weights because of it. Uh, uh, let's see here.
Uh, what's happening over on the Twitter? On the bed. Do 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 do. Like we're taking our time getting to our destination here. It feels content, don't you now? Traveling! It's the cool thing to do. Not to mention transport doesn't work half the time. We need to destroy specific types of ships. Welcome to Gotham. Which are battleship dreadnoughts. Okay, so we need we need to go after big ships. We can't fuck around with the little ones. We need battleships. We need battleships. One. Get over here. Oh shit, these things aren't counting towards... Where is my mouse cursor? time <laughs> what it, it's bonus hockey dice man All right. All right. 
way, that gives us... Gives us four towards our... Goal here. We need, we need the larger ships to pop out here. Da, 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 da. It was coming critical, man. It was coming critical. Not why I intended to push him there, but... When you need freaking... When... That's a tough thing when they say you gotta destroy specific types of ships! Like, really? That's no fun! Like to spin around, turn around, go back, duck down. Get over here! Is it going critical? It is. We need like five more of the battle cruisers. The 
defeat the final three enemies. asteroids and tow them away from the enemy launch facility. Hmm. Like we're moving in slow motion here. The fleets and Cathy ships to prepare for allied operation. I'm confused here. Get close, asteroids, and tow them away from the enemy launch facility. Alright, supposed to be...
asteroid to their facilities. Well, I cannot figure that shit out. But we put a dent. here that this is not rendering fully so it's like were you going above or below the asteroid field oh we got the endeavor done nice To the Solonade Dyson Sphere. to do Voth on the ground all right knocking these things out here I should have my pick of this need to defeat 10 on the ground and then I don't have any anti-proton weapons That thing on top, we gotta move.
Yeah, what a... We're moving it along here. Should be still be moving. Should be moving. Should be moving. Get away from that transmitter! They don't like it when it's cold. Right, we did it! All right. We got that done. Now we gotta make our way to the battle zone to deal with its nonsense. La 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 la. And we gotta fucking wait. We gotta wait two minutes. Two minutes and change. It's like talk about bad timing and everything. <sighs> Got a bony butt. <sighs> Weirdness. Well, I need to f destroy ten of them, and I'm not really concerned about getting any objectives done. Everything is awful. Everything's bad when you're waiting for things. Everything's a waffle with maple syrup 
I want waffles. I want waffles for breakfast tomorrow. I want waffles. I made you hungry. <laughs> See, uh, where if I knew if I could uh, keep track of exactly where it is, it's gonna be a great one to take on take on ten ships in short order. the one I want this is the one I want this is the one I need Wow, that was mean. Speed over here. Only one more. Alrighty, and I think we just need this last one here to knock off our objective. go done
So, there we go. We knocked out most of our endeavors tonight. The last one is I don't have any anti proton weapons on this character. So that makes. At least I don't think I do. Uh, phaser, phaser beams. Oh, uh, the Stockholm has it. What the heck is the Stockholm? It's a, okay, so it, I do have anti-proton weapons. I just don't want to switch to that ship. And I don't have the consoles or anything to really support. So I guess we'll forego that endeavor this week. Uh, now let's re-roll it. Deal disruptor damage. I don't have disruptors. We already did that. All right, salvage. Let's see, what can we salvage? See, those things are non salvageable, which just sucks. I could cheese this and, you know, I can, you know, maybe find some cheap stuff off the exchange and salvage it like that. That seems like it'll be a 
what am I thinking? I can just go random and uh, pick up any drops and stuff. What the hell is this one? Right on. Like limbs, some ex extended direct existence. So we need to get loot drops and stuff here, equipment and things. Go at least is giving uh, everybody focus on the same task now. As I pick up the drops. And wreck this fool. Peace out, yo. All right. Uh, 
Let's salvage item. Yeah, we still need still need uh, we need 15 we need about 1600 salvage and we need to keep doing stuff and get drops and things to get that taken care of Alright, we're doing this one again. Do you have any questions? So we should be able to get a lot of drops and stuff in this. Should being the key word here. Jola, your pathetic rebellion ends here. The matriarch is having a battle with me. All right, come on. Come on, it's like I'm not getting any drops here.
Really? Our repair kit is moving to assist the Kristoff. Take it out before it repairs the cloaking system. Can't get any. No, there are, there are no loot drops popping up. worked out. This is a surprise that like no drops are popping in.
Question is... Somebody doesn't realize what they need to do when that's what... So this is why it's taking this, this is taking longer than the first run earlier. Which is why I don't like to randomize. Well, at the very least, the dog has returned to my field as well. We need to pull it back and hit it with the virus. The Christoph has you in your sight. The attack must hit the car. Trust me. Quick, hit the dog with the virus. Save Did that right? As well just take him out as quickly and hard as possible. We demand vengeance. Our allies on the surface have brought an end. All right. Yeah, we're not going to get that salvage thing. It's going to take a while to get the necessary salvage needed to complete the third endeavor for the week. So we're just going to say fuck it. Still, plus not to mention we're going to be doing a lot of that again next week as well. Uh, doing the missions and stuff from the character perspective of of the of my character that I have associated with the 
uh, Klingon Empire, Daha Master Sora, and the crew of the Essex. So that will be next Thursday Star Trek Online stream. So it's like we'll be able to do back to back, full on uh, Sto streams on back to back Thursdays, and then the following, then in two weeks, it'll be back to split time between Sto and whatever else is going on. So we're gonna call it on the flip side here as we had a a strong night a fun night it's like we did the new the, the new missions are great and everything I could, the the task force operation is is what it is so we'll just pass things along as the old saying goes Uh, hmm. Who shall we evade? Who shall we evade? The evade shall be... Toss things over to Oldish, who's playing Final Fantasy uh, 14. So there you go. And he should be going for like um, about another 90 minutes to two hours, give or take. So tomorrow night we're back to Mortal Kombat 11 for the Aftermath uh, Story DLC. And then Saturday, we might just bounce around and do a few things on Saturday. So till next time, tighten your friendship bracelet, stay safe, have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow, and we'll see you later. Bye!